Hello and welcome to RafflePress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a photo contest in WordPress by using RafflePress, which makes it the absolute easiest way to create a photo contest. RafflePress is the best WordPress giveaway plugin and it helps you grow your email list, website traffic, and social media followers with viral giveaways and contests. So right here, I have a clean installation of WordPress and we're going to go ahead and install RafflePress right here. So you can head over to rafflepress.com or click the link in the description below. We're going to be using the pro version in this video, so you can click on get RafflePress now, select the plan that makes the most sense for you and then we can click on login here on the left hand side you can enter your email address and your password that you used to create an account with and click on login once you're logged into your account we want to click on the second tab here called downloads let's go ahead and do that and we want to click on download raffle press we also need the license key here on the bottom left hand corner you can click this little icon to copy that to clipboard let's go ahead and close this tab great so here's my wordpress installation i'm in the admin area right now and on the left hand side we're going to head over to plugins and add new at the top we're going to click on upload plugin and i have the zip file right here i'm just going to click and drag and drop this right here or you can also click on choose file and select the zip file from your hard drive let's Let's go ahead and click install now and activate the plugin. I'm going to go ahead and paste that license key right here and we'll verify key and you should see a green success message here. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab at the bottom. Great. Now on the left hand side, you'll see that raffle press was installed and we can click on add new here. We can create a new giveaway so we can give it a name up top. I'll just keep it simple and call mine photo contest. Keep in mind, you can create unlimited giveaways and contests using raffle press. Here we have all of these templates that you can use that'll add predefined actions to your giveaway. We're just going to use the classic giveaway for now and use our own actions. Let's go ahead and select use this template. Now you can see the raffle press giveaway builder. So on the right hand side, it's a visual representation of your giveaway. And on the left hand side, you have all the details, actions, the design and the settings. So right now we're on the details pan here. So you can either click here or you can click here on the left hand side to edit the details and we'll see a name pop up here. I'll just call this photo contest. You can put in some description here as well. So I'll go ahead and just update the description here. So after you enter a little description here, you can enter different details and you can also select an image as well. Let's go ahead and click on this and this will open the media library in WordPress. I'm just going to take a photo here and drop it. You can also load one in by clicking the file browser. So here I'll select this and choose image. We can click on done editing. And now we can see a preview of what people will see for our giveaway. So it's called a photo contest. Enter your absolute best photo that you have taken for your chance to win this brand new camera. So of course, you can add more details and different pictures based on what prize you're giving away. Or maybe it's a small business that you're running and you can add details about your business as well. You can get very creative with the ideas. And we actually have an article on the blog for Raffle Press on how to run a photo contest the simple way as well. That goes into more details on deciding on your goals, picking a prize, choosing a photo type, etc. I'll leave a link in the description to that article. On the left hand side, we also have start and end time. So here we can click the date to start it and the time itself and when it ends. We also have the time zone as well. And there we go. Once you're happy with all of the details here, let's go ahead and add the actions on the left hand side. For this one, since it is a photo upload contest, we want to use the image upload. So if we come to the bottom, we have submit an image. Let's go ahead and click on this one and it'll add it to the actions here. Of course, you can add more actions. There's lots here to choose from for getting more subscribers. So visiting on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. We have different actions related to social engagement, such as referring a friend, watching videos, viewing Instagram posts and getting more traffic. So answering a question, polls, invent your own, leaving a comment, etc. There's so much to choose from. So here we have submit an image. Let's go ahead and click on this. And now we have the options here on the left hand side. You can update the title if you like. I'll say submit your photo and the value. So this is how many points they get for each entry. Since we only have one action here, I'll just leave it to one point. But you could, for example, have multiple actions here and then you could assign different point values based on how important that action could be. We can also make this mandatory and allow daily entry so they could come back. I'll leave that off so they just enter once and then briefly describe what users should do so you can give them a little tip here. Great, once you're happy with that, let's go to the design tab here on the left hand side. And here at the top, we have the layout. We have header text or image, or we can switch this to image header and text. We also have the fonts, so we can change this to something different. Mail, for example, railway with Lotto or Roboto slab with Lotto. You have different options here. And the button color, this is for the user email. So if we click this, we can change this to something else, maybe red, so it pops out a little bit, that orange color, orange red. And we have the page background color. So right now it's set to this gray. We also have a background image if you wanted to use that. So here I'll change this to something that pops off as well. It kind of matches the red on the camera here. And if you like, you can use some custom CSS. 
On the left hand side here, we can go to settings for the next tab. And we have a lot of different options here. So we have general settings, we have the photo contest, the page permalink. So you have multiple options of adding this into your website. So you can put it into a WordPress post, a WordPress page, or you can have a dedicated page as well. So I could put something like photo contest, and this would be the URL that they could visit. Down here, we have display options. So you can hide total entries if you want to, you can show the winners. So I'll select this. You can limit signups per IP. So maybe they can only enter three times based on IP address. And if you'd like to support RafflePress, you can show the RafflePress link here and you can enter your affiliate URL. If you want to join the affiliate program here, there's more information on the link. Next, we have email verification. If you want to confirm email addresses, we have success tracking where you can put onload scripts and conversion scripts. We also have a success redirect, so you can enable this. And instead of showing a success message or anything, you can put a redirect URL in here and send them to somewhere else. I'll just disable this for now. We also have social logins. If you want to allow them to log in using Facebook, you'll need the Facebook app ID. And there's a link here on how to get that. If you want to be JDPR compliant, you can enable this and paste your consent text inside of here as well, as well as reCAPTCHA. If you want to enable invisible CAPTCHA, you can do that. You need the site key and the secret key, and you can learn how to do that with the link here. We also have webhooks. If you know more advanced features with webhooks, you can enable those and add your own here. Great, once you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save this, and we can come to the Publish tab up here at the top. Now again, we have three different techniques here for adding your contest into a WordPress website. We have the WordPress block, the short code, and the giveaway landing page. So here I'll open a second tab in WordPress and we'll go to posts, all posts, and we have the hello world post here. We can use this as an example. And inside of your WordPress posts, you can type a forward slash here and start typing raffle press. And we have our own block here that you can enter into the block editor. Now you can select the giveaways that are available. So for example, photo contest, and this will load it right into your post. Let's go ahead and update this and we can view the post. And there we go. If we scroll down, you can see that that contest was embedded into your post. You can place that absolutely anywhere and put any content you like around that. This is the exact same process as well with the WordPress pages. So all pages, we have a sample page and we can do the same thing here. So we can do a forward slash raffle press. You can select this, save your page or update it and take a view of it. And you can see that that was enabled here. We also have the short code version of this. So right here, if you select the second tab, there's a little short code here. This is more of the old school way of doing this. So let's copy it. And instead of using the built-in raffle press block editor block, we can go ahead and type in short code. And here, this will open this. We can paste that short code here, update, and it'll do the exact same thing. You'll see that contest was embedded here as well. And then the third way is the giveaway landing page. So if we select here, you'll see that URL that we selected earlier in the settings. We can go ahead and click on view page and you can see it has that background color and the URL that we set up earlier in the settings. Great, let's go ahead and test this. So I'm gonna use a sample email to enter a few different photos. So I'll put in my name, email address, I'll upload a photo and I'll do this three different times and then we'll test it and I'll show you how to choose a winner. Okay, so I signed in at john at example.com. I clicked on submit your photo and here's entry one. I'll do submit image and there we go. I'm gonna log out and I'll just do this two different times with different names and I'll submit a photo. Okay, great. Now we can see that we have total entries is three. I'm just gonna log out this one here and we can see the days left. We can go ahead and close this and I'll close out of raffle press here as well. And now on the left-hand side, we can click on raffle press and then giveaways and that's the page that we're on right now we can see how many users we have how many entries we have start date end date and the status so right now it's still running and it ends in a month if we come here now we can hover over and click on image entries and you'll see all the different submissions here so here we have stacy chris and john those are our current submissions and you can go through and select one if you wish you can pick on one example here and marks selected is valid or invalid based on their email. If they're valid entries, maybe they're duplicates that you wanna get rid of. And if you'd like to choose a winner, we can click on back to giveaways. And on the right-hand side status, let's click end now. Now you'll be notified that this needs winners. Let's go ahead and click on this. And you can have raffle press choose for you or you can pick yourself. So I'll have raffle press do it. And I'll also include unverified emails because these were just test emails. If they verify the emails, you can select only verified. So let's go ahead and I'll have one winner, choose winners now. And here you can see that it selected John as the winner. So now you can click on email winner to notify John that he won the contest. Thank you so much for watching. And now that you know how to run a photo contest the simple way, maybe you'd like to check out this video on how to run a giveaway on Facebook or how to make a WooCommerce contest for more customers. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.